Thanks for sticking around. I'm very, very pleased to be able to uh, present to you the director of the film you just watched, God Loves Uganda, Roger Ross Williams, as well as the producer, Julie Goldman. Very excited. This is our sort of our kind of like feeling at my last Q&A, right? <laughs> for a while. We've been, we uh, premiered at Sundance and we, I've been on the road since, uh, for like nine months. I've been to about um, 50 cities and 15 countries around the world, so it's been a long Long haul. It's nice to be back home. Yes. The basic question, I guess, is sort of uh, how did you decide to do this? And related to that, how did you get uh, these, these particular subjects to agree to be in the film, n knowing that some of them are at risk, some of their lives are at risk, and, and what they might have known or not known about what your agenda, so to speak, was? My gay agenda. Your, your gay agenda, exactly. Um, uh, um, well, um, how I... How how I came to the film is I was when I was making my last film, Music by Prudence, and it was in Zimbabwe, and I noticed the hold of um, this sort of evangelical Christianity had on the continent, and I um, um so I just became sort of interested in in exploring that, um, and then I heard what was going on in Uganda, um, I went there, and the first person I met was David Cato, who was murdered, and uh, he really told me you got to make a film about the damage fundamentalist um, evangelicals from America are doing. So he really kind of inspired me. Um, and how I got access. Um, well, uh, the first day I went to IHOP, they said, you're part of the gay agenda. And um, I said, no, I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not an activist. I'm a filmmaker. You, it's going to be your words. There's not going to be a, you know, a correspondent. This isn't a news piece. And, um, and it's you... I'm gonna, and they said, I, basically they said that the people who believe what they believe will come to them and the people who don't, they don't care about. And they feel really strongly about what they're doing and they think it's biblical truth. Right, so the question is if, if uh, it's been screened or will be screened in Uganda or other places in Africa. Well, I mean, first of all, Roger did screen in five countries in Africa, just did a tour and um, you can talk about it in a second. But, um, for Uganda, it's you know obviously dangerous for Roger to go and screen this film in Uganda. Um, but we have um, recently made an incredible alliance with a member of parliament, Dr. Gilbert Kenya, who was previously, um, you know, kind of in agreement with the bill, and now has had a total change of heart and is supporting LGBT rights. And it's a major thing for a, an MP in Uganda to be doing. And he's going to be. He was former vice president, and it looks like he might run for president in. 2016, and he wants to help us have a screening there, and possibly even have a screening in Parliament. But you should talk about that. Yeah, talk Africa. talk about Africa screenings. And yeah, how so I did gone. a I did a uh, like I don't know ten cities in Africa, um, which is very intense. We started in Nigeria, um, and um, Nigeria has a law that was actually passed, a similar law um, that was actually passed by the Nigerian Parliament is waiting for the president to sign. Um, the community there, uh, we screened for faith leaders and we screened for LGBT community and um, the community there is very, it's, it's dire, it's very, they're very depressed and upset because they're, they have this bill that's passed hanging over their head and it's a really sad state there. Um, we screened, um, we went to Kenya and, and Malawi. Malawi was really interesting because in Malawi, we screened for 80 faith leaders and 40 members of the LGBTI community in Malawi. You can't be out in, um, publicly, so they were all not out. And um, what happened was amazing because the, immediately the faith leaders stood up and they started saying all the usual stuff that um, Sodom and Gomorrah and gay people are worse than dogs and all this stuff. And then um, uh, uh, one gay man stood up and he came down to the front. It was, it was broadcast live on national radio in Malawi. And he came down and he said, um, he addressed the faith leaders who were all sitting on one side of the room and he said, um, I'm gay and I was, I'm Malawian, I was born this way and you guys have made my life miserable. And if I could be straight, I would because my life is miserable. And, and he inspired a couple of other gay people and this woman came down and she said, she said, I'm married with two children. And she's like, I don't love my husband, I love my children, um, but you forced me to live a lie. And she addressed the pastors, and she and she brought down her girlfriend, and her and her girlfriend kissed in front of the pastors, and it was it was unbelievable. And then the gay 
side just started screaming and yelling and one by one they all started coming out and we were on the front page of all the newspapers in Malawi it was like the biggest story in Malawi oh and then the pastor the first pastor who stood up at the end he stood up and he said um I take back everything I said um he's like I, d I never met a gay person I didn't know they they were like you know normal Malawians <laughs> And in, in, in Uganda, given the given, I mean, this film has had an impact here in terms of uh, press attention and everything like that. What does Uganda know about you and about the film at this point? In, you know, in terms of press coverage there. Um, the, the film is there. I mean, it's been it's yeah been pirated. pirated there, yeah, so yeah. it's being passed around a lot. Um, and I get question? hate mail from um, Martin Sempa in the film, who shows porn in church, and uh, I get a lot of hate mail from him. He just tweeted something to me today. <laughs> Yeah, he's he 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 loves he he's you know he he hasn't seen the film actually. But he's very inspired by it. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting because we um we had a couple screenings in Kansas City. Um, the first screening uh, I was at with um uh, a group of gay theologians, um, and um, a couple of people from IHOP came to the screening, and uh, it was interesting because they were sort of embarrassed by what they were doing. And then the second screening was at the Kansas International Film Festival and um, Sean Lanass is here, was, uh, was there and did the... Yeah, well, a woman stood up there and said she was ashamed of IHOP and her church. Mm -hmm. And then um, we screened, early on, yeah. we screened... <laughs> Let me tell that, tell that story. Yeah, we screened, we brought John o. Hall, who's the media director for IHOP, and Another gentleman who's one of the real leaders of, of I Have came to New York and watched the film with us. That was yeah, that was I, fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't be in the room. It was really intense, and then afterward, you know, we didn't know what to expect, and we ended up in this kind of incredible three-hour dialogue, mm. four-hour dialogue. We just went and went and went and talked, and that's what's been kind of fascinating because, you know, some of it they were very defensive about, and some of it they were much more. I mean, I, I certainly think Stuart felt much more open at the end, and he said, you know, this is opening my eyes to something. And, I think what they could understand more than anything is sending um, sending these kids out with any context of where they're going is potentially dangerous. Yeah. And I think they did actually acknowledge us. Stuart did actually acknowledge that. Yeah. Kind of amazing. Yeah. And when we o we opened in um, Chelsea, in the, uh, our theatrical release, and um, it was a screening. There was one screening that was adopted by a group of immigrant um, gay theologians, and. Um, uh, Jesse Diggs from from Uganda, the the Diggs, um, the yeah, yes, the one with the big blue eyes. Yeah, yes, yeah. He showed up at the screening, just and he was and I I arrived to do the Q and A just much like this, and all of a sudden Jesse's sitting there and he gets up and I was like, what are you doing here? And and he um and we like we I, I invited him to join me on stage and we debated. The film, and he immediately, the first thing he did was to defend Scott Lively. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Scott Lively's standing trial for crimes against humanity in fed U.S. federal court in, Mass in Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, y have you read the court piece? How can you defend this man? Well, and also, the audience was like, yeah, So the audience, theologian. so then, yes. Right. So someone <laughs> raised their hand and they were like, Do you know where you are? You're in Chelsea, <laughs> but you were gay. And and it was like, it was like, and he said, well, I, I forgive you all. I feel, you know, like, he, and it was just like, whoa, they just lit into him and it, I just stood back. And has everybody heard that question? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. About white, basically that for, for hundreds of years, white supremacy has been promulgated in, in the, in, in the, in the, uh, in Africa and other places in the global South. And, uh, there's been a disconnect between the LGBT rights movement and the, and sort of the anti, uh, white supremacy. And have you tried to bridge those worlds? Um, we tried to bridge us with not real i mean you know there's it's at least there's been a lot of discussion around that um as, uh, as far as our efforts around the film we've been just sort of really sort of focused in faith communities um around the country now but um every q and a that that's part of the discussion uh and that's part in, in interviews so at least it's a sort of dialogue it's out there yeah in the, in the conversation but we're trying to be very specific right now in the campaign because Otherwise, like kind of the, the broader it is, the harder it is to actually connect with people and have people kind of jump on board. But I think that really does become kind of integrally a part of the conversation. Great. So unfortunately, we have to cut it short right now. But I want to thank you both for being here and thank letting us have a shot at showing the film.
Thank you so much.